Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, feel free to subscribe. Today I have a look for you using the brand new Violet Voss Larly palette. And let's just take a moment to look at how beautiful this is. Um, it has, what is that, 20 shades? Um, and they're all very warm, they're gorgeous. There's like an equal or like a good ratio amount of mattes, shimmers, um, and then, you know, like very intense, like glittery shades. Um, this palette is amazing. I don't have any other Violet Boss palettes and I actually just got this yesterday and I was like dreaming about it last night. Like I didn't even want to go to sleep because I couldn't wait to wake up and use it today and film a look with it. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and throw some swatches in and then also I haven't done it yet, but I'm planning on doing some swatches on my Instagram. That way you guys have like a still picture. Um, my Instagram name is Shizelli, S-H-I-Z-Z-E-L-L-Y. Um, so if you want to go ahead and check that out. Um, but I think that's all for now. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoy this look using the brand new Violet Voss palette. All right, you guys. So before I go ahead into the tutorial, I just want to do some quick swatches. And this is the first row. Uh, from left to right, we have Basic, Sugar, Priss Pot, Mama Bird, and Ragamuffin. Here is the second row, and this is definitely my favorite row because it's all shimmers and my camera is like not focusing on it right now. Um, the first shade we have left to right, um, Lara Lee, Tickled Pink, Hissy Fit, Biddy, and then 1988. All right, so I moved over to the window. It's a little bit better focus. Um, from left to right, we have Fleeky, Britches, Fried, Yoshi, and Rammer Jammer. All right, so for the fourth and final row, we have Alabama, Whiskers, Bubs, Smashly, and Lou. So I'm going to be starting out with my eyes and I already primed them using some concealer and I set everything using the first shade in the palette called Basic. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and take Press Pot right here and blend that into the crease. Now I'm going to start to slowly deepen it up um, using Mama Bird and Ragamuffin. Now I'm going to start to deepen up the outer corner and I'm going to start out with Alabama. Now I'm going to do the same thing and take whiskers. Now for the lid shade, I'm going to take 1998. Now I'm going back in with a mixture of Alabama and Whiskers just to deepen up the outer corner a little bit. Now I'm going to grab a little bit more Mama Bird and buff it back into the crease. Now to make that lid shade a little more intense, I'm going to take 1988 and some Mac Fix Plus. Now I'm going to apply some wing eyeliner with the Kat Von D ink liner. Now 
So my camera overheated while I was doing my lashes. So while it was cooling down, I just popped those on and then also did my foundation and I used the CoverGirl foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to concealer now. I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD concealer. Now I'm going to bake under my eyes. What girl? Huh? What are you doing? Oh God. <laughs> Hi, Zena. Zena, you gonna help me? You gonna help me back there? Now I'm gonna set the rest of my face using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Moving on to bronzer, I'm going to use Benefits Hula and I have mine in this nice little like Cheekathon palette. I'm going to contour using the contour side of my Marc Jacobs Dream Filter Contour Palette. Now I'm going to dust away that baking powder under the eyes. For highlighter, I'm going to be using Bobbi Brown's Bronze Glow.
For blush, I'm going to be using Too Faced Love Hangover. And to amp up that highlight just a little bit, I'm going to be taking this shade from the Sleek Solstice palette. So I'm going to go ahead and set my brows in place with the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper, and then we can move on to the lower lash line. So I'm going to start out by taking the shade Britches and buffing that on the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take Whiskers and push that up closer to the lower lash line. I'm just going to go back in with this pencil brush and buff it out. Now I'm going to go ahead and highlight my brow bone and inner corners and I'm going to use sugar for that. Alright, so now I'm going to apply some bottom lash mascara, and I've really been liking the CoverGirl, the Super Sizer with fibers in it. And now for my lip color, I'm going to be using, um, kind of brand new, <laughs> the new Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in Gemini. All right, now I actually forgot to line my um, waterline with a new pencil, um, but before I do that, I just wanted to say that this is the second time I've worn this lip color, and I think it is just like so effortless and so beautiful. Like, it's like a nudie rose, like natural, your lips with better color, um, but at the same time, like it's a really nice like pop, and it, I, I think it stands out, and I feel like it could go with a ton of looks, and it's just so beautiful. It wears off beautifully. Um, I ate with it on yesterday, and it wore off just a little bit like in the center. Um, but Gemini is such a beautiful shade, and I thought it was going to be like maybe a little too brown for me because I'm so fair. Um, but I really feel like this shade could work on any skin tone out there, so... I really, really love Jeffree Star's Gemini. All right, now I'm done rambling, and I'm going to go ahead and apply some nude eyeliner. Now, since we don't want our beautiful makeup to move anywhere, we're going to go ahead and mist our face with some Urban Decay All Nighter. Alright guys, so that wraps it up for my take on the new Violet Voss Laura Lee palette. 
Um, this palette, once again, is just so gorgeous. It has so many beautiful shades in it, and I think it's just so wearable. Perfect for travel, perfect for every day. Um, and then I love that it has a lot of like really shimmery, um, wearable lid shades. Like I feel like it has a really good ratio of mattes and shimmers for the lid. Cause I feel like a lot of palettes have a lot of great like mattes and everything. And then it has like one or two lid shades. So, I mean, the lid shade is really what you're looking at. So that's where you want the most variety. Personally, that's what I like. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this look. And I'm definitely going to be creating a lot more things with this because you can. It's like very versatile. Um, I mean, you could throw in other shadows from other palettes and everything in with this as well. It's just gorgeous. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.